Welcome everyone to the one and only giant chess game of the whole Exile Lands. Today two strong opponents will use their teams to fight to death and win the game. Whoever wins will reign the entire north side of the Exile Lands for 500 years. This is a very important game to decide the future of these lands. 16 living pieces for each team are already placed on the chess platform. It's the light versus the dark. The light team is controlled by the cold looking woman Nevaria, who has been living in the snowy lands for a long time. She is determined and has a lot of confidence on herself and her team to win today. In the other side, the dark team is controlled by Varkin, known for swimming in lava and for playing chess games with his devotees. He is experienced on chess, but he is no Magnus Carlsen. Nevaria and Varkin must play by the rules. Each team includes 8 pawns, 2 rooks, 2 knights, 2 bishops, 1 king and 1 queen. I sense this is going to be an intense game. So let's start. They've decided between each other that the light team is the one starting first. So now we have one of the pawns going forward about two squares. From now on, he can only go forward one square. The next move goes to the dark team. This pawn has decided to only move one square forward. What are you doing, lady? You can only move diagonally when you need to capture an enemy piece. Anyway, let's keep going. Rule breaker. In front of the bishop, the dark pawn decides to advance two squares. It seems that mostly pawns are trying to reach the middle of the board as fast as they can. Oh, it seems that we are going to watch the first action moment on this match. The dark pawn is playing by the rules and is diagonally taking over the light pawn position. One point to the dark team. Nevaria looks a little disappointed, which is pretty normal. Varkin is celebrating his first kill. Don't expect this to be a non-violent game, we are in Conan's world after all. One of the light bishops is now moving only one step forward, diagonally, so it can offer protection to the king, frontally. A dark knight is advancing in an L shape. I want to remind you that knights are the only pieces that can jump over other pieces. It seems that the bishop decided to temporarily leave the king unprotected to devour his first opponent. Oh, we look sad. Good job. The knight advances to avenge the pawn's death. This is starting to become entertaining. Who you think is going to win this game? Leave your comment down below this video before this game ends. You'll see if you've guessed right or wrong. Another light pawn is moving, only one step forward. The 
The night hasn't stopped yet and he's devouring the light pieces. Another one bites the dust or the snow in this case. Varkin is a reason to celebrate another successful move again. Nevaria is clearly not amused. And now we can see the knight face to face with the light rook. We probably know what happens next. What a big and easy opportunity for the rook to score. <sighs> that dark knight did what it had to do, but now it's gone. Navari is provoking Varkin. This is clearly a defensive move, resulting in another death. The dark Rook moves on square horizontally. There are still a lot of moves ahead. The hungry looking Rook is now running to hit another opponent. Another dead pawn, this time from the dark team. Something has gone wrong for this poor woman. <laughs> Both players are extremely expressive. I want to say that pawns are so underestimated on chess, but they got an important role on the board. They are also considered the soul of the chess board. The light team just lost one rook. The revenge is served in a cold plate pretty fast in this game. One of the light knights is now giving its first steps and advances in an L shape. But one thing that this knight has forgotten was the fact that the opponent team rook could run all the way up his place. And another piece from Nevarius team is gone. Another celebration. And another sad moment. The luck is really on the dark side and Varkin's team has been playing pretty well so far. If you've never assisted to the death of a king, then this is your chance. A big loss for the light team, clearly she's pissed off right now, while Varkin is suffocating in happiness. This moment is quite important for the light queen to avenge her husband's death and cut the evil by the roots. The killer rook is now gone and the piece is back to the lands of the light, temporarily at least. The game is not over yet. A dark bishop takes only one step. You may be winning but you still must be careful. The light knight is heading back, closer to the king's throne to protect the queen. Another lady breaking a little rule. There is no one to capture on that square, lady. 
the pawn moves slowly. Same thing for the dark team. The rook is trying to move carefully. And now it's the turn for the dark bishop to advance. Slowly we'll get there. You should be moving forward, not horizontally. Another short move from the rook. The remaining knight of the dark team decides to move for the first time. The rook keeps moving slowly through the squares. The pawns are preventing it from moving further. A pawn advances one square. The moves of this light bishop leave the queen alone in the whole top line. The bishop looks dangerous, approaching too much to the light team pieces. I want to make clear that the pawns here should not capture any opponent pieces horizontally. It looks like the queen keeps having the important role of wiping the enemies who approach too much. And Navaria finally scores! Both players are trying to provoke each other. A common move from a pawn. The Light Queen goes back to where she feels safer. Pawn moving one square at a time. Same thing for the Light Pawn. The fierce looking bishop placed itself in front of the queen and pawn. Short move for this pawn. The rook is moving closer to the royalty. And this pawn is moving closer to his enemy. And there will be blood. One last to stay for the party. Varkin is trying to make fun of Navaria, but she doesn't agree with his attitude. I'm almost sure this pawn sacrifice was intentional from Navarre's part. The pawn sacrifice was clearly an intentional move and not a mistake from Navarre. She used her pawn to set up a trap for the dark pawn to die in the hands of her other light pawn. A tie where two pawns die and then one remains, and that's another point for the light team. Expressing their emotions again.
Well, it seems that the light pawn is not surviving for long. Another point for the dark team. Nevadia, that's insulting! Is this attitude even allowed? Well, you have your reasons, I guess. The royalty protector is moving carefully. The Dark Bishop advances multiple squares diagonally and is now in a position closer to the Light Team. The Light Rook just took one step backward, playing on defense right now. Let's see how this is going to end. Moving too close to the opponent's royalty may not be a good idea, Varkin. The Light Queen's guard is now ready to defend her by killing the Dark Bishop who went way too far on the game. It looks proud of what it has done. Nevar is proud too. Can tell the same about Varkin who just spit the burning anger from his mouth. The royalty pawn moves one square forward. Make sure to not abandon who you serve. The light rook is moving in full speed, entering in the land of the enemy. And we're seeing now the first steps of the eight-legged queen. Where is this bishop going? To feast upon his opponents. Dance but not for long, Varkin says. Moving one square at a time. The pawn has put herself face to face with the opponent's pawn. Is this another sacrificial move from Nevadia? The dark took over the light's place. Oh, she's gone. She is a trick on her sleeve, but she has no sleeves. Well, what is Navari thinking on? Yes, the pawn sacrifice was another strategy from the head of the light team. It's the time for the light to shine over the dark team pawn. One point for the light team. Varkin feels disgust. The Darkness Queen goes back to her throne. Nevaria, don't clap your hands for too long. It looks like the Dark Knight has found an easy way to avenge the Dark Pawn's death already. 
Another loss for Nevarez team. Varkin is thankful for his knights. The light bishop is moving back to squares. A dark rook is rushing to get closer to the opponent team. Will this have any consequences? The bishop keeps moving back to the light side. The bishop move has cost his life. The dark rook destroyed it. But why would Navarre sacrifice her bishop's life? Was this a mistake? Varkin making fun of Navarre again. It seems that it was really a mistake from her, but can she recover from this mistake? Her pawn says yes, but the Light Queen is becoming exposed to her opponents. And the rook is gone. I can smell the tension between these two in the air. A dark pawn moves forward one square. The light pawn is ready to defend the queen that is still a few squares away from him by removing the dark pawn from the board for good. This is getting serious. Nevari seems to be enjoying the game. A dark pawn replacing the light one? The darkness is really trying to conquer the chessboard territory fast. Navari is calling all the existing bad names to working in her mind right now. One point for the dark side. This light pawn is brave enough to make the dark knight disappear. The light keeps fighting back. Varkin's mood has changed drastically. Take that, she says. Varkin is saying to Nevaria to watch and learn. Killing a knight has bad consequences. Fatality. Is this the action all of you were waiting for? It's a cruel war, Nevaria. Varkin loves brutality. Nevaria doesn't seem to take a break, preventing us from showing you the pieces on the chessboard right now, as she already took a pretty fast decision about the next move. The Dark Queen is on her side unprotected. Varkin's Dark Pawn move has left the Queen without any protection on her front side, which means the Light Queen is now deciding Varkin's fate. This is insane! The Dark Queen was projected to the sky with zero chances of surviving! The remaining Dark Team pieces are being annihilated.
this is what's left on the chessboard. There is no mercy for losers. Goodbye, Varkin. At least you've tried. The light is now ruling over the mountains. Congratulations, Nevaria! You're full of joy! You can keep celebrating for 500 years. The northern lands are yours until a new chess opponent is available to defeat you. The victorious Light Queen is back to her throne. To all the spectators, we wish you a good night and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with your opinion about the game and the results. See you in 500 years.